Oh, I'm upside down. Hi, welcome to my vlog. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. <laughs> How do I turn it off? <laughs> Hello internet, I'm Emily but known as Mummy Mouse and I own a camera! So my whole time, ah! Oh there it is, oh, some high def bag pics. I have been filming, oh my gosh, <laughs> on my iPhone X. And today, on the 23rd of February 2020, I was gifted my early birthday present. My birthday is actually on the 4th of May, May the 4th is with you. And my parents have given me the mark no, the Canon Mark G7 X2. And it's so awesome. It's the camera that I asked for. I love it. There you go. Have a look. Oh, focus. Uh huh. Now focus back on me. I'm getting good. I'm getting good. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you the week of my life. I go to Durham University. This is my room. We'll have a whole room thing and super fun stuff. And I'm just going to take you on the week of my life and I'm going to learn how to use this camera as I was given to me early because I'm going to Disneyland Paris in three weeks and I'm going to watch Disney World in the summer and go to Camp America. And I want to take lots of videos so everyone can see it. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to work out how to use this camera. It's going to be really fun. Oh, you can see all my spots. Oh, this guy's great. Mm. But so much fun. Okay, bye. So every single Sunday I do a premiere of my vlogs from Walt Disney World. So this is a Mickey's Not So Scary vlog and I'm just eating some very burnt, it's like a cheese and ham toasty that kind of went wrong but it's kind of cute. But I do these every single Sunday but now my vlogs are going to be in super high quality because I have my camera. So we stabbed the hen in the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Beauty. That was such a long phrase of what I was trying to say. One of my personal favourites is crispy. Oh, can I? F oh, look at that donut action. Oh, I love this. It's really good. Mm, mm, mm. Can't focus. Can't focus. No, don't let me down. Focus on the donut. Focus on the donut. We're still working it out. But focus on my face, and you can all see my spots in 4K. So. I can't quite decide who my favourite villain is. I'm watching back my Mickey's Mr. Scary Halloween Party vlog and I do love Ursula my whole entire soul. I went as her to the Halloween party. But I love Oogie Boogie and Dr. Facilia. I wish they... So in this show, the stage show, they do several... Oh my gosh, this light's so good without my lamp on. Oh, how does it like... This is crisp. I'm obsessed with this camera. Um, but I wish they had a segment for every single villain. Like, I would happily watch, like, a two-hour stage show, but that's just me. Um, I have so many exciting things to do. Do I need to hold it all there? Is that my vloggers hold it? I don't really know what they're doing. Uh, I have so many exciting things to share and bring you guys along for this week. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to go into Durham Town. Hopefully, go for some lunch, take some shots. That's kind of annoying. Uh, take some shots around the city centre and just kind of give this camera a while I guess and like different lightings like daytime, nighttime. I can't get over how good this quality is. Yay. Oh, how far does it? Oh my gosh. Can I look at my eye? Or is that too close? <gasps> wow. You can see all my spots. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but like I'm kind of impressed. Ready? Ah, focus. Yay! Oh, I love this. I actually feel so impressed and so amazing. And I'm just so thankful to my parents for gifting me my early birthday present. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, also, I mean jelly beans. I love jelly beans so much. I keep forgetting not to look there. I have to look at the camera lens. Ah! <laughs> so it is 11.26 at night. I'm about to head to bed. What did I do this evening? After I ate my dinner and did my vlog premiere, I <laughs> ate the rest of my jelly beans because I love jelly beans. You can get these from Tesco. They're in three for a pound. They are 40p and they're literally so amazing. Like they're just great. I just love them. They don't sell them where I live at home. So I'm gonna have to stock up on them because I love them the absolute most. And I've also been eating Jaffa cakes because when my parents go home, I kind of get super sad. So I just kind of come for eat my favourite food. I'll just bust my poo. No Jaffa cake dance. Gonna brush my teeth, put my hair up because I sleep with my hair up, and get ready for tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> So I just love looking at my eye. I think this is insane. That's what my eyes look like. 
don't know if anyone wanted to know that. And you can see my blackheads on my nose. Not really a fan of that, but these eye shots, I'm just, as somebody, as somebody who has never owned a camera before, this is like the most amazing, exciting thing ever. And I just love it so much. So thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Stop looking there, look at there. Ugh, kind of a bit of an ass, so I just keep looking at myself. <laughs> But brush my teeth, get into bed. I got my PJs on today. I have got Snoopy and I um, don't want to drop it. The Lion King, can you feel the love tonight? This is today's OOTD. <laughs> Um, I think I've said the same thing eight times. I swear I can actually vlog, just the concept of me having a camera. I feel like under pressure to perform. I don't know what this is about. But I'm gonna take it out for a spin tomorrow. So it's supposed to be snowing tomorrow in Durham, which is so exciting. I've been waiting for the iconic Durham snow, because when it snows here, it snows good. Stop looking at yourself, you narcissist, look at the camera. Um, when it snows here, it snows really good. So I'm hyping, I'm gonna get up go for like a little walkabout, gonna head up to the cathedral, head to the castle, uh, maybe go down by the river, get some good shots, maybe see if I go to the botanical gardens, gonna have a proper walk around, maybe meet some friends for lunch, or have a solo lunch, hashtag self love, enjoy your own company as well as others, you do you boo. And then I have to start on another assignment, which kind of sucks, but you need life. Apparently doing a degree, you have to do work. Oh, kind of annoying. But I'm just gonna brush my teeth, put my hair up and head to bed. Wow, should I do one of those things where you like film yourself brushing your teeth or is that really sad? I don't want to drop my camera in the toilet. Oh, I've been filming for five minutes. I haven't even do. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, Basically, you need a tripod so that my camera doesn't do that. Um, so look at it yourself. Look, Emily, stop looking there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so bad. I just keep I'm just gonna keep looking at myself. Like, has anyone else's camera just spent like hours looking at themselves? Like, I just can't with the quality. You see the chocolate around my mouth? See every single blackhead, every spot I've ever picked my eyebrows, which need waxing. Wow. Ugh, this is oh, I don't know how I feel about this guys. This is kind of kind of quite high quality. But I'm looking for tripod recommendations, which basically I'm gonna try and say for the last 10 minutes. Please drop some in the comment section. Um I will just buy what people tell me, like may or may not have got this camera because Tim Tracker had this camera, so are we even surprised? No. Oh, I should have done like a cinematic toothpaste thing. Oh, I'm gonna put this in my mouth and then do it. Oh, that is spicy, that is spicy, that is spicy. Okay. Wait, focus on the toothbrush? How do I get to... I haven't quite worked that. I haven't quite worked it out, okay. No, focus on the toothbrush, not me. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh huh. I also give my face a wash and flannel for bed. The reason my skin's so bad is because I've been away for the last two days and I didn't bring my skincare products. So my skin kind of had to suffer. And then this room is not cut out for vlogging. I just kind of. Oh, how do I do this on camera? Dang. Maybe, maybe like this? Can you see? So I kind of just put my hair up like this. <laughs> and it doesn't all go in because my hair is really short. And then you just do, 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 do. The end. Yay. <laughs> I'll show you my bed. Oh my gosh, people are literally going to tune off this video and be like, what is this girl doing? Look at egg. Sexy. Okay. Um, oh, should I pretend to go to bed and then turn the camera off? Oh, I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is my little bed. It's actually not very little. So I have... Oh, now I can't see what I'm doing. Can you see me? Hello? <laughs> is it focused? So I have some daddies up there. Um, we'll do like a whole room tour at some of the, wow, it focused. Wow, another point. But I have alien blanket, and then Mickey and Minnie blanket, and then uh, reindeer llama, sorcerer of Mickey, tuxedo Mickey, Christmas mini, pumpkin corn, March Mickey, and then this is my bed. And then the classic vlogging shot. This is like Zoella 2013. I'm in bed. Ooh, so good. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Did I get it?
oh my gosh guys i like absolute trash it is 9 26 i've just woken up but i've heard rumor that is thick snow outside i don't know if i'm quite ready for this are you guys ready snow reveal oh my god i'm crying i just love snow with my whole entire soul and i haven't seen snow in two years i'm just so excited i don't have a sledge Oh my gosh, I actually have a tear. Can you see my tear? In HD, look at my tear. Wow. Look, watch it fall down my face. Cinematography. cinematography. Wow, look guys. Okay. Uh, how amazing is that? Oh, we're going to have to get some like 4K snow pits. Jeez. This is so exciting. It's like a winter wonderland. Oh my gosh. I'm literally going to get up and dress and head straight to cathedral to take some pics. Yes. So what I like to do is I like to match all of my hairbands <laughs> to my outfits or the situation around me. Today it is snowing. So we've got a white hairband. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I'm still in my pyjamas. Let's change that. Ah, I feel like that transition was really bad. <laughs> But I'm ready to go. I've got my white headband, shh, my angle. I need to take better this. White headband on, yellow champion jumper, and some blue jeans, and some white puma socks. Marp. I'm just going to put on my holiday coat and my Timberland boots because even though they're not very cute, I don't want to be cold. I've got some gloves as well, so hopefully we can stay warm and get as many awesome shots as possible. I also think this has now gone from being a week of my life to snow day at Durham. So. We could just make this a 24 hours of my life video instead because I really want to upload this now because I'm so impatient. <laughs> Love that from me. We are good to go. This is like the tiniest snow ever. <laughs> okay, so if you're new to my channel or if you're new to Durham Uni, I'm Emily. Go by the name Wandy Masketeer online. I do Disney YouTube stuff mainly and Instagramming, but I'm also documenting my time here at Durham University. So Durham is quite a, oh snow. Uh, Durham is quite a prestigious university, so you have to get, I think it's like six best in the UK. So it's be quite smart. It's number one for my course. I study primary education BA, so I will be getting an honors degree at the end of this, hopefully. I do BA primary education with QTS. There is someone coming. This is awkward. How do I not do this? Okay, so as I was saying earlier, I am doing a BA primary education degree. So what this basically means is I am studying to a primary school teacher. So I'll be teaching children from ages of five to 11, um, but as well as doing like a normal university degree where you have to um, do formatives and summative assignments, I also do QTS on top, which is the qualified teacher status. So I go on placement for long periods of times and teach. So it's basically four years worth of degree into three. So it's quite a lot of work, but it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. I'm doing really well so far and hopefully that continues up. Um, everyone here is really lovely. Uh, we also have like a little like Harry Potter system. So like they have like Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and things. We have our own version of Harry Potter houses here. So I'm in Castle, it's like the main one because of obviously the Durham Castle. Um, sadly, I do not live in Castle. Fingers crossed third year I will but right now I do not. <laughs> so that's a little bit about me. We'll talk about me as the, more about me as the day goes on. It's not hard to talk about myself, very narcissistic. But for now, heading into the cathedral and I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like with the snow. I think it were really cute. I did, if you head back to my Lumiere vlog from Vlogmas, um, I have lots of things there, but it's really nice to look at it with the snow on. So there's so many people watching me do that. I feel so brave vlogging out in Durham most embarrassing thing like there's literally like you can't see right now there's sort of like a hundred people yes the confidence confidence in your ability that's what it is also my arm hurts so bad i need a tripod 
I have literally never ever seen the quad, the blah, 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 the cathedral this quiet. So I am 100% taking the most of this opportunity. Um, I'm personally not very religious. I am a Christian though, um, but I do like to come in. I think it's really pretty, and the staff here are really lovely, and they've actually taught me so much. I come here for um, like uni school trips and things, and when you do matriculation, you come here as well. Okay, so right now we are here at the cathedral so it's really really pretty um i don't really know much about the history so i can't tell you too much but i know all the harry potter houses names most of them are based off bishops from brown durham so we've got like hatfield over there we've got st cuthbert over there i think maybe they were all important religious people but i don't know much more than that so i'm very sorry but if you do come to durham definitely come check out the cathedral it is so super duper pretty and right now it's really quiet and also the light is pretty good but what we are also really importantly here to see is where they filmed Harry Potter. That is what we're all here for. I know. Can you go this way? Oh, you can. That right there is 100% a hidden Mickey Mouse. Just saying. Okay, so do you remember that infamous scene in Harry Potter with the arches? Well, this is where it was recorded. It's so cute. I have nobody here to take pictures of me, but this is really cute. Let's see if I can. No. <laughs> Okay, so this may look like the cathedral, but it's actually a mini Lego. Well, it's not really mini, it's quite big. It's a Lego cathedral. I'm gonna see if we can see inside. Let's test this camera out. Can you see? The little, like, cross, and then, oh, that's all the chairs, and then up there is the stained glass window. <laughs> Please focus. Don't let me down there. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's so cute. What a good time to film. Yay! Okay. Okay, so this is Durham Castle, it is an actual castle and students actually get to live in it if you're lucky enough. I applied to live in but sadly was not able to but it's literally so pretty but in third year you can apply to live in again so hopefully I will get to live in in third year. Quick summary of me. I do BA Primary Education at Durham University. I am a first year, so I'm a fresher. My college is Castle and I live in Kepia Court. It's really nice. I'll be here until the end of my first year. Then second year, you have to go and live out. So you go live in a house or a flat with your friends or with anybody. And then in third year, you have the choice to live back in. So living in is living in castle accommodation or university accommodation and then living out is when you live in your own accommodation. So hopefully, third year, I'll get to live in Castle. But I think the cathedral's been so lovely to show, Castle's been so lovely to show. I've been loving using my camera. I think next step for me is I think we need to go and get a hot chocolate. Also, peep the fact I came and did this with no friends. So I had to ask a bunch of people to take pictures of me in the cathedral, and it was kind of really embarrassing, but I'm really glad I did it because Got some cute pics so you never know some people are really good at taking pictures also i'm literally loving i've never my, my like iphone doesn't focus on me when i film so having the concept of it focusing on me for these disneyland vlogs and disney World vlogs are gonna be insane <laughs> Yay! <laughs> There's so much snow. It's, I think tomorrow it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so icy. But for now, it's super duper cute. 
So the building behind me is the School of Education. This is where I do all my lectures. It happens to be only seven minutes away from where I live, which is really helpful. And next year it's only 10 minutes away from where I live, so pretty good. Also, probably should have said, I have no lectures today. I'm not just skipping to film a YouTube video. I just don't have any on a Monday. Wow, we stand crispy snow. I am back in my flat. I'm kind of freezing cold. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit some pictures I took on my iPhone X, post them up onto the gram, maybe onto Twitter. WB Masketeer on Twitter, uh, Emily with two eyes, Master on Instagram, and I keep looking at the other one, and Warner Masketeer on Instagram, follow my socials, and then I'm just going to eat some pea apple cakes, and then I'm meeting up with a friend for lunch at one o'clock, and I'm going to go to a super cute cafe. The reason I have no lectures today is because every other Monday I don't have anything, so I'm supposed to be doing work basically, but I'm just making the most of a snow day, seeing a friend, and then I'll get on with some work this evening. Mum, say hi to the vlog. So it turns out I've been using this completely wrong. I wasn't even in video mode, but uh, we got some good cute things I hope from what I can see. So hopefully they're not actually that bad, but this is what this week is for. Learning so we don't make these mistakes in Paris. Okay, so I have just been taking some pictures for a giveaway that I'm doing tonight with a brand on Instagram, Kingdom Threads Co. Do check them out if you haven't already. I ordered a custom jumper and it's so amazing and now we are collabing together for a giveaway. So I thought I would show you guys the jumper quickly. It's super cute. This is the jumper, so she does like custom stitch jumpers and it's going to be perfect for Disneyland Paris and it says Woman Musketeer, which is my username. I'm all ready to set off out again to go meet my friend Leah. I just spent about 25 minutes editing a picture and I absolutely hate how it came out. So I'm gonna do it again when I get back later. I also need to film two unboxing videos and I need to make a plan for my summatives as I have three summatives due in the next three weeks. So I need to crack on. Also, the snow is melting. So good job I went out earlier. Look, there's not really much left. And like on the hill and on the houses, it's just going back to grass. Okay, snow update. It is like basically all gone already. Kind of crazy. Off to the post office before I go meet my friend Leah for lunch. I decided to write uh, Galentine's Day letters for Galentine's Day, which is the 13th of February, which is about two weeks ago now. Um, I decided I like to do things and I kind of forget the the things I do. They never end up just being for like three or four people. So I ended up sending out about a hundred letters. This is the final batch and these ones are all going to Europe, Australia and America. So it's pretty exciting. Um, and then I'm gonna go meet Leah, hopefully we go to a cute cafe for lunch. But I can't believe I wasn't using the video setting on this camera. Uh, all the gear but no idea. As you can see, the snow is all gone. This is Hatfield, this is another college. Um, it's like the arch nemesis of Castle, but it's super cute. <laughs> I know. We love Mimi Queens, I'm so proud of us. going to lunch with Leah. It was so nice. I had a Nutella hot chocolate and a tuna melt panini. It was really, really good. It's called Tealish. It's very nice. It is on the road next to Tesco's. You've been to Durham, you know what I mean. I stopped in Tesco's. We got some chicken nuggets and some fish fingers. But tomorrow's pancake day, so I think I might practice making some pancakes tonight. Snow update. There is sadly not much snow left at all, but da -da 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 -da. I'm back. I'm back. I'm doing better than I ever was. That was a whole bad video. Wow, well, okay. So I am back in my room now. It is 3.34 in the afternoon and my plan for us today, I've got a lot to do, whether or not I actually do it all is like a different story, but I need to, what do I need to do? Well, my hair's so like blah, blah, blah today. I need to film two unboxing videos. I need to edit a post ready for a giveaway. Oh my gosh, oh no. I'm back! 
work so it's half past three i have a lot left to do for today whether or not i'll get it all done is a different story but i need to film two unboxing videos i have a disney product box and some canadian snacks to try i also need to edit a giveaway post which is going out tonight so i'm just gonna I took some like selfies earlier like here but like you can see my very messy room in the background so I'm gonna like put like a background behind it. I then need to obviously turn my room, it's kind of a mess. Mine's, my room's very like Disney but it's also kind of a mess. And practice some pancakes ready for tomorrow. I might do like try one pancake and like get the mix ready or something like that tonight. Uh, I need to cook my dinner. Um, and maybe look at some uni work. I've done no uni work today. The whole point of having today off is to do uni work, but ew. fun things take over the place. Like, for example, this year I'm currently averaging at, so we're in second term, I'm currently averaging at a 2T, which isn't bad, like it's past, so I still get a degree, but like some of my like colleagues, colleagues, pupils, co-workers, I guess colleagues, um, <laughs> They are getting like two ones in first, so I feel like I need to up the game. But I'm just like trying to enjoy uni life and be a YouTuber and an Instagrammer, and it's hard to do it all. But we live and we learn. So I accidentally just sat and watched TikTok and YouTube for the last four hours. I'm uh, not really sure what the time has gone, but it's dark outside now. Uh, gonna go make some dinner. Ugh, and I've just found out I have a task to do tomorrow that I haven't started yet, so I'm just like, oh. It is now an hour later and I've proceeded to have done nothing other than put Mickey Mouse pajamas on. Um, I thought I'd film and share about this because in all honesty, sometimes for me and I feel like for anybody, it can just be really hard to get motivation. Like, university life is just so draining on your mental health. Like, you don't even have to be stressed and I'm just tired all the time, I'm sad all the time, I cry all the time, but I'm also very happy all the time. It's just a mix of emotions. And like, for example, yesterday my parents went home, I spent the weekend with my parents and like, that sucks. Like, saying goodbye to your parents sucks. Like, I do come to America in the summer. So I've been away for three months, for two, three months in a row. So I've been away for six months. I've done the whole saying goodbye. But, like, it doesn't get easier any time. Like, I just miss them so much. Like, I'm home in 25 days, which really isn't a long time. But, like, I will admit, homesickness is a thing. I personally live six hours away from Durham University. So being that far away can be really challenging. So I feel like if you're looking into Durham as, like, somewhere to go or, like, thinking about university, like, I thought, oh, I have to go away for the summer and do all this fun stuff. Going away to Durham is no big deal. If the uni wasn't a good uni, I wouldn't still be here. Like, that hand on heart, open and honesty. Would have dropped out, would have transferred, would have moved closer to home. So definitely keep that in consideration. But yeah, gonna go make some lasagna. Also, I didn't film any of the unboxing videos I was supposed to do. I've just about, I gave up with the giveaway edit. I just decided it looked so bad. I'm just gonna post it. Hashtag unedited, hashtag unfiltered, hashtag real life. I haven't really done anything that I need to do today, but... We're thriving, we'll get through. See you guys when I got some grub in my tub. No, grub in my tum. Food in my tummy. I want something that rhymes. Dang. Felly in my belly, no. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> hey everybody, I have just woke up. I have been like a greasy mess today. I'm just about to hop in the shower. Um, I didn't really feel much last night, I'm really sorry. All I did was I ate my lasagna. After I ate my lasagna, I faced up to some friends. I was on FaceTime to my mum for like three hours. We were talking about Halloween costumes in February. And then I went to bed. Um, I'm up now, it's half past nine. I have lectures at 10, so I need to like get it in gear. Um, I've got lectures, so I've got an early years lecture, a maths lecture, a science lecture, a science seminar. Then I'm back for a bit, I'll make some lunch, and then I have a PE seminar. So it's a busy day today, it's also pancake day, happy pancake day. So I might, f I feel like, I know pancake day, I think it's called Shrove Tuesday, it has like a reason behind it, like I think you're supposed to like, is it, oh it's Lent. Maybe I'll do Lent, maybe this is something that we can arrange tonight, maybe I'll do Lent. I don't know, we'll see. But I need to get dressed, get ready, head on out. I'm not going to bring my cameras to lectures because that would just be so embarrassing. So you'll hear from me in a few hours. No, I can't do that, that's too cringy. <laughs> My uni style isn't exactly great. I have seven minutes to get to my lecture. I've got wet hair. I've got a blue headband in with an orange jumper, some blue jeans. I think I'm gonna have to change this headband. I just, I wish I could look cute and nice, but I just really enjoy staying in bed. Ugh. Most of the times, like getting up and actually going to uni is one of the hardest things. So at least I'm going. 
went with the black polka dot headband. I'm back from lectures. Ugh, all everyone wants to do is talk about exams. It's like, why? So I'm gonna go into the kitchen and start making pancakes. I'm gonna have pancakes for like brunch and dinner today. Ready, steady, cook. I feel like that's a British show, but I could be making that up. <laughs> This is the first time I've made pancakes and they've not actually had lumps in it. Ooh, look at that HD pancake mix. Yeah. Okay, this is one of my mum's tricks when it comes to pancakes. So what she does is you have to like butter or oil or like make the pan panny. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some extra virgin oil, oil into the pan and then what I do is rather than keep the oil in it, making really greasy and not very nice pancakes, pour that oil into a cup. So for me, I have a Disney villain cup with a slug. She's my favorite. Still keep looking in the viewfinder, need to be looking into the lens. <laughs> I love pancakes. Pancakes are one of my, ah, focus on my thing. There you go. Pancakes are one of my all time favorite foods, but I absolutely suck at making them. They're either really thick or they have lumps in or they just look like omelets. So hopefully today's pancakes are going a lot better, but I'm probably gonna eat like 20 pancakes today, which will be so exciting. I might go to Tesco's later and get some ice cream for my pancakes, maybe like some chocolate sauce. But for now, my go-to, lemon, sugar, strawberries, and Nutella. Oh, and sometimes grapes. <gasps> Let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite topping to put on pancakes. Also, I've been looking into Lent. I think I'm gonna give Lent a go, so we'll have to come up with some sort of like Lent tradition-y things for me to give up so soon. Hello! Um, it's been two days since I last filmed. My camera battery died in the middle of making pancakes on Tuesday. It's now Thursday, pancake day has been. Happy pancake day. Maybe it was Monday. Has it been three days? I think it's been three days. Um, I've now figured out batteries. I'm starting to learn how to use the camera. We weren't in video mode, so we're slowly guessing that. But I'm actually making pancakes again because I just love pancakes with my whole entire heart. I did give up bad food and being sad for Lent, but um, can't change my mind about that now. So <laughs> let's go make some pancakes. Also, I look so weird because I've actually done my hair. This is what I look like when I straighten my hair, guys. It looks fair when it's like... <laughs> oil in it as you can see around the rims but I've been told the first one's the worst one so they're only gonna get better. We yeah is pancake number one is looking good I'm gonna pop some lemon and sugar on it now my roommate just came in and he goes to me did you buy those pancakes I said no I made them he goes no you didn't I was like yes I have I've worked out the neck now I've tried making pancakes a lot. I love pancakes. I'm the CEO of Pancake, Pancake Queen. Um, whenever I go to a restaurant, I get pancakes. I'm just obsessed with pancakes. And I didn't really know about measurements. I was just kind of putting random things in. I like, I wasn't mixing it enough and it was lumpy and the pancakes were not going well. But now, look at these. Look at these two. Perfecto. And this one, also pretty good. I'm gonna have two with lemon sugar and two with Nutella. Despite being the CEO of Pancakes, I've never flipped a pancake in my life because I'm so really gonna drop it. Or oh, I don't know if you've seen Peppa Pig, they always get stuck to the ceiling. But I'm gonna give it a go now. Also, this was supposed to be a week of my life and it ended up not being a week of my life. It kind of ended up being like a random 48 hours mushed together over like six days week of my life. But I'm here for it. I've tested the camera, I've given it a good go. I'm looking forward to editing this footage tonight, getting up tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, Morning Masketeer. Well, I guess you'd be watching that on my channel. Subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up. Comment below your favorite Tommy the Pearl Pancake. Wow, that was really extra. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hold this weekend to see my friend Laura. I'm gonna go watch Onward and have a great time. I'm gonna vlog that as well. Tonight I'm gonna to look at camera settings and stuff, so I'm hoping before it gives you some Paris, I'm gonna upload random vlog series. They're not really serious vlog videos. Um, and hopefully like my filming quality and oh, there we go. <gasps> it makes me look so pretty. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully my filming quality will go up as I start to get to love the camera. So this has been so much fun. Um, I'll show you guys the final pancakes and then I guess that'll be it for this week's vlog video series thing. I don't really know. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that I've got four super yummy super screamy pancakes to eat. I'm also the CEO of Pancake Flipping. That was legendary. I hope you all have super much of a day. I hope you enjoyed this video and see me getting used to using this camera. Hopefully my next video that I upload will be super high quality. I hope you all have a super magical day and as always I'll see you real soon. Bye!